Let's do the Rubenoid next. It's uh, still a simple one, and then we'll end with some super weird stuff. Okay, Rubenoid. Rubenoid. If you've seen the movies or the videos, it, it was this sort of construction like this. And here there was like a frame. Top view again. Top. It looked like a, a pair of... Uh, it looked like an ass, sort of. <laughs> At least if I draw it right now. The top view looks like some boobs or a, or a butt crack. Now, you got the... The metal frame you see in the videos uh, are like this. You see a metal bar, four pieces even, four metal bars. And then you see the this paper, still top view, eh? don't forget, runs in between these bars. Now here are magnets in between these bars. And now the thing is, if I draw a line in the middle of these magnets, one side is north, the other side is south. On the other side, it's south, and the other one is north. Now, these magnets want to, want to be together, like, um, pretty badly. These magnets are connected to this steel, and now the magnetic field runs here and here. Let me see if I can make a bigger view of only this magnet motor because uh, yeah well I'll do it here. So metal magnets. Uh, north, south, south, north. Is it still in frame? Yeah. So, magnetic field runs from here to there and here the other way around. And what the fun thing about this is if you use flat metal pieces it has this whole surface area to inhabit a huge magnet and then the pole piece um, is this piece of metal and where your coil is gonna be, it's gonna be here this size here is smaller than this size so you concentrated all this magnetic field, you can use even bigger magnets you concentrate it in this small piece, so it's a quite strong magnetic field that's why uh, some of my metal um, bended a little bit or yeah. Uh, so okay, these are the magnetic fields. Now look at the coil. What I draw here is these wires here. This is a top view still. These, for instance, if you look at the top, uh, run upwards. And these here go down. So it's a round coil. It's like this. Beep, beep, beep. Not the best coil. And then you got like the... No, this is not very clear. But it's a round... Well, round. It's a flat coil. It goes, of course, like a coil. So this is the top view. You don't see this, this rounding here. You don't see. We only look at... Mm, this part. And then from the top. So this one, this this wires go up, then they make a turn and go down in this top view. Now, if we do the same thing, the right hand rule again, but I have to kind of move my hand a little bit. Magnetic field goes from right to left, for instance here. Um, then the current goes up. Well, I said these wires were going up. And then, you got my thumb, it's pointing towards me again. Is the direction of force. So, <clears throat> here is the paper attached. And it will move 
towards me and of course also away from me depending on the sine wave or whatever you feed it. Uh, but that's a rubenoid in, in sort of basics and it's a great way to create a huge strong magnetic field here in this tiny spot. Some people say it's push-pull but actually I think that's kind of weird. I mean yes these because the wire is moving up they want to move for instance towards me and these wires go down but are in, an, in another different magnetic field so they want to move again towards me but it's not really push-pull I think um, because otherwise uh, a normal loudspeaker would be push-pull as well which is not true either so that's the Rubenoid in sort of uh, top view basic construction.